Do you want to tell her your story? <laughs> when I saw him, he made little grunt noises at me. And I was just like, I have to know this dog. Beckfist was rescued from a dog fighting ring. He had been adopted a couple of times and brought back. He had been living in fosters for years. He has shortly cropped ears, which is looks as intimidating. He had behavioral issues because he was never trained. He has all of that on top of him being deaf. I've worked with deaf dogs before, and something just told me, like, that's that's your dog. Like, you need to go get him. I was we're learning how to communicate with him. He knew some sign language when I got him. He was learning, but I think he was still a little unsure. He needed to learn that he can trust me. I was like, hey, that looks like fun. And, you know, he kind of looked at me and did his meow And I was like, all right, yeah, let's do it. We put the board in the water and he jumped right on. And, you know, he didn't ride beautifully, but he definitely stayed on it enough. And you see him wagging his tail as he's riding the board, you know, like you can tell he's having fun. Other dogs, they can receive commands from their owners of like getting ready for a wave. But with breakfast, like he's standing with his back to the ocean and he's relying on me to not let him just get wrecked. He actually used to look behind him when he was standing on the board, he'd look back. And it was almost as if he was kind of like, I'm watching for the wave too. And over time, he just looks forward. Watching his confidence grow, it's a really, really cool thing. Our bond has started growing tighter and closer. There's definitely a trust there. Since we started the surfing, communication has just skyrocketed. He started looking to me for a lot, of, a lot more things. We really started to understand each other a little bit more. It's so rewarding, and that's what makes it so much fun. He's happy just all the time. When we go on walks, people will be like, he looks so happy because just he holds his head up high. He has this happy hippo noise. He only ever does it when he's like super, super happy. That's it. <laughs> okay. He's just constantly making noises. Dude. Oh, he's talking. <laughs> kind of sounds like an old man, like, mumbling to himself. I can't take you to work with me, I'm sorry. You know, he's a constant reminder for me every day. No matter how bad you've had it, you know, like bad past experiences, you can still be happy. Oh, good boy. Like, comment, and subscribe.